Hey YouTube, let's look at a couple of um, really old case knives. Uh, these are in Genuine Stag um, 1980. This is of course a um, Stockman, medium Stockman, I believe. And this is an Eisenhower. So a, uh, a main blade and a little pin blade. Uh, this one uh, was a work knife for my dad. Uh, so, you know, he sharpened it out in the field. He was a telephone lineman, telephone repairman. So probably did most of his sharpening when he was in his truck. And maybe when it was raining, he would take the time to sharpen his knives. Uh, of course, he carried a, you know, like a regular lineman's knife uh, for the dirty work and then had this in his pocket for other things. A really beautiful knife still, still functions well. He took care of his knives. Uh, he used them. He wasn't afraid to use a knife. And this was a tool for him. Uh, of course, the shield is gone. A lot of pitting. So you can barely make out the date. So you can just barely make out the lightning bolt S on the case. Um, and that's about all you can see. You can see the dots if you really look close, uh, but it's difficult. The pattern number is really easy to read. Five is for genuine stag. Three is the number of blades, and the last three there are the pattern number, which is uh, a stock command. but it still works really well. Yep, I cut myself. <laughs> Luckily, it's dull, so uh, I need to really sharpen it. The uh, back spring is about, you know, it's worn out. If I were to number that, I would say that's a, a one. <laughs> uh, and that's mostly uh, not the back spring. I mean, the back spring is still flexing. I think the uh, it's just worn out the uh, the pivot there, the end of this blade, uh, just from the probably millions of times that he opened that blade. Uh, this one's got a little more left to it, but not much. And this one, they probably use this one the least, so it still has some a little more pressure on the back spring. Uh, but there's no way I would carry this knife now. It's got too much sentimental value for me. Uh, but genuine stag. And look at the, after 40 years, no gapping. So uh, pay attention, Case. <laughs> you used to do it, uh, and you still do it, but not as consistently. Uh, but still, I mean, I like Case knives. I'm not knocking case at all. Uh, they still make a great knife. Uh, just need to look at them before you buy them, if you can, or be willing to send it back. Or just live with a little gapping. Gapping doesn't hurt anything. You know, aesthetically, it's not as pleasing, uh, but the knife will still function. Uh, this is my favorite. This is an Eisenhower pattern. And the pattern number, uh, again, five is uh, genuine stag, two, the number of blades, and then the pattern, 63. Uh, if I'm right, that's the Eisenhower. Got a little bit of rust there. Need to get to that. So on the Eisenhower, the... Uh, Hang stamp is a lot easier to read, and you can clearly see the lightning bolt S and all the dots. So, uh, if I'm counting right, uh, 1980, the favorite, I guess, of President Eisenhower. 
and the back spring works well because this was more of a, I mean, it's still a work knife. I mean, he used this as a hammer at some point because it's got a little divot there where he's knocked it on something, or maybe it's bouncing around in his pocket. Uh, but the back spring still has some pressure to it. So I don't think he opened it as much. He would drop this pocket, uh, drop this in his pocket uh, on Sundays. This was a church nice, I guess, and on days that he was off. But a really beautiful knife. And any gapping? Nope, no, <laughs> no gapping after 40 years. Uh, this is a, a unique, really, constructed knife or case. And it's got two liners, two brass liners on one side, and it, but one of them is milled out. And it has a little cutaway for easy opening. And that is because the blades are kind of uh, sunk a little bit so that they do stand proud a little bit, but not much. So it's about... You know, it's, the pivot is a little further down, I guess, and it's, it's just a little bit of blade sticking proud there. Uh, symmetrical. Uh, the bolsters are, you know, a little bit longer than you would expect on a small knife. And just an elegant little gentleman's folder. And... It's a little stiff, but uh, still functions well. Okay, not a long video. Uh, just a quick look at a couple of really old, uh, but still functioning pocket knives. Thanks.